Malaba border is one of the most important border crossing points for Uganda and other landlinked countries in the region. At least 1,600 cargo trucks from Uganda and Kenya pass through this border post every day. Despite its importance to regional and international trade, over the years the border post has grappled with infrastructural challenges. The narrow stretch on the old bridge is so narrow and uh, problematic that sometimes whenever it would rain, uh, it, would be heavy, it would be difficult to get the trucks going through. Often truck drivers and traders using this route have lamented and called upon the relevant authorities from both Kenya and Uganda to Expect, heed to their plight. Uh, we waste a lot of time when, uh, when the road is bad. But when they finish the road and the road uh, becomes good, yeah, things become clear. You know we have 1,600 trucks go across this border on a daily basis. However, the situation will certainly get better in the coming months after government secured a $2.6 million financing from UK AIDS Department for International Development and other development partners. The funds for the World Bank could not, were not enough to continue with Malaba one-stop border post. And what, we did, what happened is that much as we had contractors on site, we had to stop the program. So there have been an outcry for this one-stop border post to be completed. The infrastructural development project implemented by Trademark East Africa is aimed at increasing trade, poverty alleviation and acceleration of socio-economic growth. The cost of delays at any border uh, in a day of a truck would amount to about 300 US dollars. The commission has told you about 1,000 trucks going through this. So you can see Malaba was becoming very inefficient. DFID head of office in Uganda, Jenny Barros, says in the current financial year, the UK government is scheduled to spend about £200 million in Uganda on various developmental programmes. We're going to focus on improvements to the Alagu border crossing with South Sudan, um, Malaba into Kenya and two of the main border crossings into the DRC. It's going to uh, invest in some trade logistics hubs at really key uh, nodes we think about as sort of junctions in Uganda where trade routes cross so that's in Jinja and also in Gulu. Uganda is a land-linked country connecting the Great Lakes region and Central Africa to East Africa. The upgrade of key border posts to international standards is a necessity. After stalling for two years, the construction work at the Malaba border has resumed. It will be completed by the end of this year, and this is expected to improve the traffic flow. Dennis Igoa for UBC News at the eastern border of Malaba.